Good day, my wonderful yarny peeps. I'm going to show you another crochet stitch pattern from this amazing book. I don't know if this is upside down or if I turn it this way or this way. <laughs> In this book, the 280 crochet shell patterns. There we go. I am going to be teaching you today how to crochet the blanket shells pattern which can be found on page seven and is is pattern number eight it is a really really simple uh stitch and it is only a one row repeat a uh, one row repeat sorry um which you will do after you have done your foundation row and your or, or your setup row whatever um, so you're going to do your foundation row. Um, you're going to go into that foundation row and set it up. And then row two is basically your repeat. Okay, but um, once you have finished row two, you'll go into what they say is row three, which is basically a repeat of row two. But, you know, hey, I don't break these books. They do. Okay. <laughs> The blanket stitch looks like this. Let me just give you a little bit of a sample of what it looks like. So basically what you're doing is you're creating like two pillars and then top of your shells from the previous row in the center. You're doing five double crochets. Then you're creating your two pillars again etc etc and this is what they call the blanket stitch see I even have it named see blanket stitch with a stitch marker so I can show you all cuz I'm just goofy that way that's me what can I say for, <laughs> for today's tutorial purposes I am going to be using this yarn here ever soft it is a four weight yarn, as you know. Bailey likes to work with her four weights. It is a four weight yarn, and each um, each skein is two hundred and seventy yards. This is in the color aqua. Where's the color? Does it show? There it is. The color is there. Aqua. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah. It's, uh, I love this yarn because it's like stupid soft and, and really, really pretty. And I thought that this would look really pretty um, to show you the stitch and would really, really stand out and make it easier for you to see. So I am just going to untangle my little center here for a moment because I didn't get a chance to do that because I wasn't thinking. I would like you to go and grab yourself some yarn, your favorite yarn, a crochet hook. I'll be using a 5.0 or an H. For a tutorial today, grab your favorite coffee. You're going to need your yarn. You're going to need a pair of scissors, as always. A darning needle to sew in your ends. Maybe a couple of stitch walkers if you wish to use those. If you want a row counter. You can take a row counter. You don't have to use a row counter. I'm just saying. All right. So give me two seconds and I will be right back with you to show you how to get into this stitch. Alrighty. I got it untangled, that center part. Man, that, that was a lot of yarn to untangle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get started with this, guys. All right. So this way it's not taking like an hour for me to do a tutorial for you. On something that's really 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 simple uh, this particular pattern is done up in multiples of eight plus six that is your setup row foundation row however exact you know like I always say however you choose to call it and that's what it is so the multiples are eight plus six let's get started I'm gonna start with a slip knot like I always do and that's just the way I do it because that's what I'm comfortable with doing 
once you have your slip knot on your hook and remember throughout the pattern that does not count as a stitch ever also i want to mention in the pattern the chain four will count uh throughout the pattern as a double crochet and a chain one so i'm just letting you know the entire pattern is basically double crochets chains and double crochets so it's like here we go for this tutorial purpose i am going to do up because it's in chains of eight i'm going to do one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six whoops seven and eight I'm going to do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So once you have done up the chain and the length for the project that you wish to use this particular stitch for, you will then add six. What I recommend at this point, once you have done your multiples of eight and you're going to add your six, keep your finger on that last one and go ahead and chain up another six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now it says that what we need to do is we need to double crochet, place a double crochet in two, in two, <laughs> the sixth chain from the hook. So we chained up six. So you're going back. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So into that sixth chain, that is where you're going to place a double crochet. Go ahead and place your double crochet in, oops, into the sixth chain. Now what you're going to do is you're going to skip two chains, one and two, and into that third one, you will place five double crochets. So you're going to skip one and two, and then you're going to put five double crochets into that next stitch. That's one, a double crochet is yarn over, go into your chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, you have three on your hook, you're yarning over, you're going through two, and going through two. I don't think I need to tell you all how to do double crochets, but just so that you know. So you need to place five, a total of five in that chain. So go ahead and do five double crochets. That's three. That's four, and that's five. Now again, I'm gonna warn you all because this you know, happens quite often. Sometimes when you do a group like that, you can totally miss the next chain. So please be careful when you're doing this, okay? Because you notice how that pulls. All right, so there's a chain right there, right there don't miss it so you're going to skip that one and you're going to skip that one into the next one you are going to place one double crochet chain one skip one and then into the next uh, into the next chain you will place a double crochet You're going to skip two chains again and into that third one you're going to do five double crochets so that's one two three four and five 
This is your repeat for this round. Skip two, place a double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, and double crochet. Where am I? Skip one and double crochet. Then you're going to skip two again, and then you're going to place your five double crochets. Skip two, place your double crochet. You'll see that you will have three at the end of it. You're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in the last chain. I will meet you back when we get to the end of this row. All right, I'm coming to those last three chains. I skipped my two after the five. I placed my double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in that last chain that you have. And after row one, your, row, your work should look like this. Okay, let's go on to row two. Row two, you're supposed to chain up four, one, two, three, four. And when I say TWA, it just basically means turn work around. That chain four counts as your first double crochet and a chain one. Into the next double crochet, you will place one double crochet. You're going to skip two double crochets, which basically where you're at right now is those five that you did in the first round. So you're going to skip the first two. And in that middle one, the third one, you're going to go into the top of that. That is the stitch you're going to use. So you can call it um, the third one, the top of the third one, or skip two doubles and into the third However you wish to <laughs> refer to that, go ahead and refer to it. Either way, what you're looking for is that middle one of the five from the previous. And in that one, you will place five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to skip the other two double crochets and you're going to jump over to the two that are pretty much standing alone, separated by a chain one, and you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to place one double crochet into the top of that one, chain one, and place a double crochet into the next double crochet. Again, you're going to head over to your five cluster from the previous and into the top of the third chain. Again, you will place five double crochets. This is your repeat for this round. Go ahead and do that and I will meet you back at the very end and show you where or, and how to finish off this row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two. I have just done my five double crochets into that center of that last shell of five. Then you're gonna skip over to your standalone one, your two like pillar looking ones. And into the top of that double crochet, you will place a double crochet chain one and then into the third chain from the hook now remember you did a chain four which counted as a double crochet in a chain one so into the top of the third chain one two and three you will place your double crochet where am i one two and three make sure you get both legs of that stitch and i didn't get the other part there we go and that's where you place your double crochet. From here on out, guys, this pattern is silly, crazy, easy. 
this is the way it should be looking after you have completed round two. From here on, all you do is the exact same thing. You just keep repeating this row. Chain four, three, and four. Turn your work around. Double crochet into the next double crochet. Find your center of the five and into the top of the third. Place your five double crochets. Whoop, bye. Get that in there. That's one. This yarn is slippery, <laughs> but it's oh, ever soft. Yes, it is. That's why they call it ever soft, because it is very ever soft. So place your five <laughs> double crochets into the top of that one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, now you're going to go over to those two over here and into the top of that first one, you are going to place a double crochet, chain one, and into the next double crochet, place a double crochet. Again, you're going to skip over to the middle of the five. And into the top of that third one, you are going to place your five double crochets. So, one, two, three, four, and five. Skip over to the next double crochet. You're skipping two, one, two into the next, into the top of the third double crochet. Basically, you're skipping the two double crochets from that five, okay? And you're going to double crochet into the top of that one. These are your little pillars. Chain one, and go into the next one and do your double crochet. That is your repeat. You go again to the middle of the five and you place your five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Again, you go, you skip two double crochets and into the next, you're going to place your double crochet, chain one, and into the third chain from the previous. So there's one, two, and three. You did a total of chain four, but in the top of the chain three, that is where you are going to place your double crochet to end that row one two and three let's get into the top of that fourth that third chain one and you place your double crochet this is basically your repeat now everybody all you're doing is repeating the exact same thing over and over again and then you're going to be able to flatten it out after okay this is what it should be looking around. So you've got your double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Skip over to the third of the previous five cluster. And in the top of that, you do your five double crochets. Skip the two other double crochets in that cluster and go to your standalone, which is like a pillar, and do your double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Go over to the next cluster of five in the top of the third one. Do your five. Skip over to your pillar. Skip two. Go over to your pillar. Do your double crochet. Chain one. And then double crochet into the next. And you're just going to continue to finish doing that. And then when you get to your end, it's a double crochet. Chain one. And then a double crochet into the top of the third chain from the previous round. I'm going to go ahead and work up a couple more rows just so that I can show you a really nice size swatch. 
and I will meet you back at the end. All right, I have gone ahead and I have done up another couple of rounds. I have a total of four here to give you a nice idea on how the stitch is going to turn out. Remember, <clears throat> sorry about that, taking a sip of coffee, you got me. You're chaining up four to start. So I'll go through one more row with you before I end this. So you chain up four, one, two, three, and four. Turn your work around. Skip the chain one part there because your, your chain four counts as a double crochet chain one. And into the next double crochet, you do a double crochet. That is the only place where you will be placing a chain. I'm just saying, all right? There are no chains after you've done your five double crochets into the top of the third from the previous round. So immediately you go over to that third one again and you do your five double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next two double crochets and into the next one, which is standing alone, right there. You place your double crochet, chain one, and then into the next double crochet, you will place a double crochet. Skipping over to the middle of the five from the previous one, two, three, four, five into the top of the third, you place your five double crochets. I'll go through the whole row with you this time. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the last two double crochets and into the next one, place your double crochet. That's your standalone. It's like a pillar. Chain one and into the next one, you place your double crochet. That's basically all you're doing is you're finding the top of the middle one from the five, the third, the top of the third one is where you're placing your five double crochets and you're placing your five on top there three four and five you're skipping the last two double crochets in that cluster and you're going over to your standalone and that's how you're going to continue to do it you're going to do your double crochet into that one chain one and into the top of the third chain from the from the previous round where you did your chain four you will place your double crochet So, this is what it should be looking like. I hope you enjoyed doing this pattern. Um, it would be really, really neat if you let me know in the comment section um, what you might consider using this particular stitch for. That would be really, really nice. I would use something like this probably to make maybe a really nice lacy uh, scarf or, um, you know, a blanket for the summer maybe. Something that's not going to be too heavy because this is actually quite light right now. But I mean, if it's bigger like a blanket, of course, it's going to uh, weigh more. Um, you could make a cowl, 
Uh, you can make shawls. You can make wraps. Whatever it is. Um, I always say the same things, don't I? But whatever it is that you think that you might want to use that for, please let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you find it useful. And I will try to get out one more this week. It's going to be a very silly busy week because of uh, Birthday Live, um, which is on the 1st of March. For Miss Tank, Susan, I love to crochet, all of the above, that's her name. <laughs> so, um, and I've got a lot of preparing to do for that. I've already got some of it done, but I need to rest in between. But I really do hope that you enjoy this pattern, everybody. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you might use it for. And let me know if it was helpful. Okay, in the meantime, stay blessed, stay creative, stay inspired, and remember, do all things with kindness. Okay, love you all. Bye.